guys how are y'all so your girl is literally over here getting things situated for my niece and her prom i'm over here trying out some different things and um yeah so i wanted y'all to see me through the process um this is my very first prom gown that i'm making because i've never made a prom gown before um and I feel very confident about it. I feel like it's going to turn out really, really cute. And I feel like she is just going to be super ecstatic. Like, auntie, 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 this is what I was looking for. That's how she'd be doing me, y'all. So I really feel like she's going to really, really love it. It's going to turn out amazing. And I'm just so eager to finish it because, like, I'm over here, like, oh, all kinds of things going through my mind. But i'm just excited to do it for her and i'm just i just can't wait to the finishing so you guys i have already drafted out so here's her fabric it is beaded mesh here is some illusion mesh with stretch it's a two-way stretch um this is some lining and then we have like you know her skirt um the the bra pattern and then i'm just draping the bodies corset type part here and for the back i haven't put anything on the back just yet y'all i don't have an actual dress form but this is my little oldie but goodie like she hanging in there by tape shout it <laughs> look she is hanging in there so we are gonna work with her but i just put these little bra pads on here i just wanted to make sure that you know with me doing the seams i mean the darts i wanted to do dark placement and make sure that the darts were straight and even here on the sides. So I'm about to get ready to, oh, and then like my center, my center front part right here, I wanna make sure that that's balanced out. Got the dart on the side as well. So just trying to see what I need to do and just things of that sort. Like I say, I'm super excited. So I will take you guys along this journey. So. Stay tuned, stay tuned.
So you guys, I ended up changing the lining um, behind this, like this lining, we went and got some gold stretchy type lining from, um, I mean, stretchy like spandex material from Joann's. So I ended up not going with this lining, but it, I mean, just wanted to update y'all with that. This still looks cute though over it, but yeah, I was worried about this lining okay, fabric. So I ended up moving these up. Um, so from the shoulder, it's down to three. She's a small girl. Um, but I may just move it down just one more inch, which is probably um, four inches down from the uh, shoulder. And um, I added the trim. Um, as you guys can see, um, trim placement. And I'm going to cut out two more. So on the other side, it will be... Okay, y'all, so y'all know this is my first time making a um, prom dress. So I decided to do some research, and I did not do this. I did not use the trim piping. I actually used bias tape, some um, bias tape that I found at Joann's, and I blinged that bias tape out, and I actually made some bias tapes for, uh, well, strips for the front as well. So you guys will see that um, later either in this video or the next video following this one. Just wanted to really like uh, update you guys on that part because I did not use that. You like shorten. This part definitely is going to be cut out. Um, but yeah, so what I'm about to do now is get ready to beat the beads out. <laughs> um, and I will be back. You guys, so dealing with fabric with the beads in it was a challenge for me because I'd never dealt with it. But I did know that if I sewed it on my sewing machine, I would have broken a ton of needles and had it all in my sewing machine and probably ruined it. But no. So anyways, when you're beating the beads out, y'all, I think they have this really pretty like this little hammer at Joann's and probably you could find it on Amazon as well, but I didn't have the hammer. I used this little metal piece. Um, I believe it went to my, a part of my, uh, I believe it was my ceiling fan or something of that sort in my living room. I don't know. I can't remember what, but I just know it definitely beat the beads out for me. Um, Y'all, these beads really beat me up, honestly. But yeah, it definitely got the job done. And then at, in the end, I ended up taking the fabric outside into the garage and actually using my hammer. It was quicker. It was better. But yeah, I would suggest getting a nice hammer and beat those beads out because let me tell you, yeah, my first time working with beads and fabric. And I must say, I had been cutting and beating the beads out like crazy throughout this whole process. And I still ended up, I still ended up breaking three needles in the process. Yeah, three needles, yeah. beating up the beads okay or should i say we are done with the beads beating me up <laughs> anyway patterns over there let me show y'all all this bead dust excuse me look at all of that all of that came off of the sides of the skirt this was just the skirt portion of it y'all it's literally bead dust but i wanted to show y'all that because girl when I tell you I had to cover up, I was like, Lord, 
I went and got my goggles, my safety goggles, because baby, what I tell you? Yes, I had these on. Just got through wiping everything down, trying to get up as much bead dust as I can. And I tell y'all, I put my long cardigan on because y'all, I put these leggings on because when I tell y'all, it, it really like beat me up, child. I was like, Lord. But anyways, I will see y'all in a minute. <laughs> train and added the scraps to the side to make it wider and the train is going to be 70 inches long so i've added the side um scraps everything that was left over over here so i'm going to shape it mold it sew it to the actual long piece um let me show y'all see this pretty much i have cut and I just want to make it a look a little bit more fuller. So I'm going to add the scrap pieces and cut it really, really pretty. So I went ahead and just pinned it to the um, little dress form thing that I got from Hobby Lobby. Y'all, this thing been rocking with me for years. <laughs> but just trying to see what it would look like pretty much in a nutshell. Um, as far as the length and things of that sort, I think it'll be good. So.
think we doing good, y'all. I think I want to shorten this just probably in half an inch or an inch. Just a little bit uh, more. But it's looking good. I'm so excited. Because remember, I still got to cut out part of the skirt. So I think that's cute. And then... Then we're gonna do these, just to kind of give us an idea what's going on. Oh, that's gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute, cute. Once I do the bodice, uh, the basic bodice top part, it's going to be super cute. Of course, I have to iron this stuff too, y'all. Don't panic. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I think I'm going to shorten it probably a half of the inch. Probably an inch. I think that is cute. And then of course this side will be cut from here. Alright, that's cute. That's it up. Alright, y'all. So I just pinned this skirt just to see what it looks like. I shortened the underlining. And we're about to see what it looks like on the mannequin. 